What's up guys, hope you're doing great, it's your boy Kobe Shots and in today's video we're going to look at how we can make our portraits much more interesting in terms of the background using textures. Let's get right into it. Alright, so in Photoshop, I'm going to just place a texture on this image. I shot this portrait with a black backdrop with some lights from the left and to the right but these lights that you see over here, the flares in here were actually added in here in Photoshop okay so this wasn't actually captured in camera okay it's just to accentuate the lights over there and complement the color tone that's coming through just like you'd get using a diffuser um, filter in front of your lens okay so with that said let us get into the reason why you're here <laughs> what I did was I downloaded some textures which I have over here in downloads okay so this is the texture of crumpled rubber or polythene and this texture of I would say some cracks and some particles okay so what I'm gonna use is the packaging photo texture of wrap plastic yes that's the name so I just downloaded a JPEG version of this image and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag it into Photoshop on top of my shot and uh, because it's in landscape mode, I'm going to orient it back this way. So it fits the orientation of my image over here. All right. Okay. So when I hit enter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rasterize so I can make amendments to it. So the next thing to do is to keep the layer activated and I'm going to change the blending mode. So I have a variety of looks with a blending mode that I am gonna go with but because there's a black backdrop and also the effect that I'm gonna get is also gonna still look like how it was because it's originally black I'm going to select either screen or lighten I prefer lighten because lighten takes out everything from the packaging texture layer okay so with this done I'm going to freely reposition it as I wish okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a mask and on this mask is where we're gonna remove the areas that actually covers the subject in the shot okay so the flow of 100 and opacity of 100 with a brush tool and ensure that your hardness is all the way to zero so that the edges are maintained soft I'm going to clean with a black brush okay clean out all the areas that has the effect okay so carefully and gently clean it out all the way if you want to zoom in you can do that so that you can be much meticulous okay right move it out of the fingers from the wrist from the head the ear if you're not careful there are some that you might leave untouched which you need to actually get rid of okay all right so once i am okay with the cleanup okay you notice that the background actually becomes part of the image it makes it look as if the subject was actually shot with that texture in the background and that's because the texture is actually a realistic texture photograph okay so um if the effect is too conspicuous and it doesn't make it look real you can always alter the opacity or the visibility in there so what i'm doing is i'm reducing it just a little bit so that it hides in there in the background and my subject stands out all right so before and after before and after and that's basically how you add textures to your portraits to make it look even much more interesting because if your background is plain and it doesn't have that interesting touch to it you can always do that in post-production and give much more life to your images so thank you very much for watching this video to the very end if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button engage with my content comment share and do all the things that you need to do to get my content recognized by the algorithm and push it further to much more people to learn a thing or two and until the next video i'm gonna catch you later have a wonderful day 
see you.